balcony and it has been raining for the past two or three days. This is Tropical Storm Sandy. This is the second story balcony. I don't know if you can hear me, but it is just steadily raining. So much rain. These are doing good. There's one, and there's one. And then we got another one here. And then another one way out there by the other hose. Hi. What are you laughing about? It's over there. You look. And then you can see where the rest of the trees are getting plenty of rain. about ready for it to be over. Man, I got some crazy hair going on. But uh, with Tropical Storm Cindy, I'm doing inside chores. Well, repairs. Some of you know that the house is in a, we're remodeling it slowly. And anyway, I fixed the plumbing in this bathroom. Uh, let me show y'all real quick. Pretty straight setup. That's the PEX that I was talking about. Um, this I actually redid this upstairs bathroom like six months ago. Um, but the PEX lines, you have hot and cold. And I could have done this a little bit better, but um, I was just in a hurry. And frankly, we don't ever look under the cabinet and it's, it'll work the way it is. You could actually cut those back shorter. You could mount them to where the, you could, you could put it to where the valves are right coming out of the hole back here. but. Um, I just wanted some extra work with because I didn't have the cabinets in at the time, so I just stubbed it out. Um, but that's it. That's all crimp. That took probably 20 minutes to run. Um, what I just did was um, do this drain, which was another huge pain in the butt. But uh, anyway, I'm waiting on my wife to bring me some glue so I can glue up the back there. Everything else is just cut to fit. and uh, So that's what I was just working on. This boy has run outside in his rain boots and pajamas. You want to help mama milk the goat? <laughs> That's my boy. So I wanted to show you um, the knife that I use for the knives that I use for. Um, I can never think of the word I'm trying to say: skinning and butchering and things like that for rabbits and chickens and whatever else. It's called a Mora knife, and this is exactly what it looks like. It comes in a little sheath like this, and they come in different colored handles. This is a red one. Here's a green one. It's called a Mora Basic 511, and uh, this is about what it looks like. Um, this is razor sharp. That's not. It looks dirty, but it's not. It's just been used a lot. It's a carbon steel knife. So. If you don't, if you throw this in your kitchen sink, it's going to rust. It's nearly impossible to get a razor sharp edge on a stainless steel knife. That's why nobody uses stainless for, for butchering. They use carbon knives because carbon knives can be ground down and sharpened, you know, to basically split flesh um, very easily, razor sharp. So what you do after using this knife is clean it and um, put it on a strop, which I'll show you guys how to do. It takes two minutes to keep this knife sharp, razor sharp. And then um, what I do is I coat it with an oil, um, vegetable oil, canola oil, mineral oil, whatever you have. Just wipe it on there to keep moisture off of it, put it in the sheath and put it in the drawer till the next time you use it. But I'm going to give one of these away for the 500 giveaways. Not one of mine, a new one obviously. So, uh, I will touch base on that probably in the next video or on my Facebook. If you go down into the description, there'll be a link for our Facebook. Also, if you go to our channel on our banner, there's a link for Facebook on the, on the, on the banner picture on the bottom right. Also in the description of all our videos. So, um, just go like our Facebook page if you haven't, and that'll show have all the giveaway information that you need to be able to get this knife. I also wanted to say that uh, hurricane season is coming up, so I mean I live on the Gulf Coast, I know a lot of our viewers, I mean y'all live all over the place, but uh, hurricane season is coming, if not already here, so 
make sure you guys prepare, do what you got to do, top off your fuels and rotate out your fuel out of your generators and get your chainsaws primed and ready to go because you never know when one of these things is going to come in and how bad it's going to be. So uh, make sure you got some water and some food stored away. Uh, do what you can to protect your family and, and prepare for your family. But you don't want to be that you don't want to be that guy that uh, gets a you know the hurricanes coming and everyone's evacuating the day before and you're at the gas station in the line filling up for gas. So make sure that you guys got your gas cans ready for the season and uh, you're good to go. Um, I like to make sure that I have well, I have a large quantity of gas uh, stored up and. Um, Food, water, backup generator, um, and uh, a plan in case there is hurricanes. So, thankfully, this house hasn't really been disturbed by hurricanes. We are about an hour and a half off the coast, hour and a hour off the, about an hour away from the bay is what I should say, Mobile Bay. So, haven't had too many dealings with hurricanes. But uh, they are always a threat. You never know what they're going to do. So make sure that you guys are definitely taking the right steps to prepare for your, prepare your, to protect your family. And that's my little speech. Michael just came in here and scared me. He's a crime fighter. What are you? A Power Ranger Red. A Power Ranger, a Red Power Ranger. You are massive. Look at those muscles. Show some of your moves. Hey. -ya! Hit the dog. I don't know if you meant to or not. Daphne, your sidekick. You know, somebody see them muscles. You know, like this. You see them guns. Roar. Have you caught any bad guys today? No. No. Probably because it's raining outside. It's strong. Oh my goodness. You are out of control. Look at them abs. Jeez. You ready to go eat dinner? Red Power. What's the Red Power Ranger's name? What's his, what's his name? A Do Hunter. No, what's the Power Ranger's name? Is it Jason or Dustin? You ready to go eat dinner? It's Dustin. Is it? You ready to go eat dinner? Hey guys, I just wanted to let everybody know that I greatly appreciate it. We are at 537 some odd subscribers. Uh, we appreciate the support. Um, I we're we're actually going to do a giveaway just because. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the little uh, excerpt of the knives that I use for butchering and around the kitchen. Turns out a lot of people use them; they're very popular. So, what I want to do is I want to do a giveaway of one of them. Um, so just go to our Facebook page. There's a po uh, Bama Homestead. There's a link in the description below. Um, just share the page and make sure you like the Facebook page if you haven't. And our, uh, I'm sorry, like the page and share the post. You'll see for the giveaway. Um, you can comment, say you did it, whatever. It's fine. But um, that'll just that'll get you a shot to win it. And I'm gonna announce the winner on Sunday. I hope y'all, I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all enjoy what we do. We we greatly appreciate. It. We love bringing you these videos. Um, it's just uh, for us. It's making memories too. So it's just it's a it's an awesome win-win. So. I hope you guys, I hope somebody wins a knife, somebody will, I hope you, whoever wins it enjoys it, and um, uh, that's it. I hope you all have a great night. Uh, I'm going to do a video tomorrow on how to sharpen them, so stay tuned for that. It's super easy. If, you, if the idea of sharpening a knife seems daunting to you, it did to me too, but I was amazed at how easy it is to sharpen a carbon knife. It takes about five to ten minutes, and anybody can do it, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. I'm hoping this rain will quit here in the next couple days because we got a lot to get done. So I appreciate y'all. God bless and have a great night.